I thank you, Father God, for um, God in this conversation again. And I praise your name for just protecting all of your heavenly hosts and all of your heavenly angels. I just had to make a... Um, I don't want to call it an extension. I had to make an um, additive to the previous video I made about the whole Will Smith and Jada Pickett thing. First off, I'm going to say, and it's no disrespect to Miss Jada Smith and her family, but we're not going to talk about Will Smith and Jada. Any other man that would have did that for his wife, that is so sexy. I mean, that is so sexy to me. He stood up for his wife and he protected her. And that type of stuff, it makes me happy to see because especially with African-American women who've gone through so much stuff and put up with so much crap, even our ancestors died in misery. It's very refreshing and it honors me that an African, African American man will stick up for his African American queen or his African American woman. And all those people who want to sit up there and talk about, I'm even not going to talk about Chris, Chris Rock. I'm putting him out of it too because, like I said, there's certain things I like about him too, but I don't know these people. They could be evil behind closed doors. Who knows? But what I know. And I'm going to say some men, because some men, it ain't right when some men put their hands on another woman for their wife. We don't do that. That's not what we do. But when a man approaches another man about his wife, and y'all got to be careful too. Like, I'm not going to set the fellas up to get themselves hurt or killed because it's a different type of world. And a lot of people don't argue the way they, that um, Will Smith did with his hands. So y'all want to chastise him for using his hands. But y'all allow people to use guns and weapons to hurt people. And you want to say that, okay, it's just jokes is words. No, words are what build the universe. Everybody works by communication and words. And some people not not can't speak verbally. But communi we're going to say communication is energy. Awareness is energy. So when someone is being um, negatively affecting somebody's awareness... And they're, neg they're being negative with their awareness towards other people. However, that energy comes back to them, no one can control that. Because what one person's action does sets into actions and motions of karma and an outcome. And what we're not going to do is continue to allow people to bully folks. And then once somebody do something about it, you want to get up there and get on the person that finally said, hell no. We're not going to talk about what Jada do with her husband. That's not the point of this video. I just want to say to Will Smith and Miss Smith, I appreciate y'all. And nobody should be talking about y'all. If y'all want to talk about y'all business, I would suggest you don't. But at the same time, people got to learn to listen to people's stories and not have a freaking personal opinion about something that they haven't done themselves. Because if people can't talk about what goes on with them, nobody's going to learn nothing. But that does not give people the right to then try to descend on them and then think that you you know these people. Like I said in my previous video, Miss Smith, Miss Jada Pickett Smith, she is a mother. She's a wife. She's a daughter. She's people's beloved family members. And to us, and a lot of us, she is a, a beloved actress. Now, what she does with her personal stuff, I don't know. And that's not my business to know. And whether it's wrong or right, God will judge it. But we're not going to keep letting that happen. And then other people of other races got to chime in. But they want to talk about the suffering of other people, modern day people. But the same modern day people are just as racist towards other folks. Everybody wants to wash, wash right over the facts. And they want to appropriate stuff. They want to push actual struggle to the side. Like they said, you don't want the person's uh, blues, but you want to you wanna, um, replicate their rhythm. You're so quick to deny people of their pain. So by the time they're gone, I heard somebody said this the other day. They don't appreciate people till they're gone and dead. I'm going to tell you why. They don't want to appreciate the right in, in people while they're alive because 
they don't want to give that person their due respect. But after they're gone, they be the first ones that didn't want to respect them and acknowledge their pain to be like, pick up on their pain, to pick up on their rhythm. Didn't want to acknowledge their blues in life, but you want to pick up on the rhythm after death. And y'all are going to hell for that. That's wrong. And yes, I am asexual. But I'm going to tell you this, even if I had my husband and I was asexual or I wasn't sexual with him, my husband stands up for me like that. And the first thing I would say to him is don't do it because I don't want him going to jail and I don't want my husband losing his life. I'm going to put my husband in harm's way. But what you're not going to do is sit up here and calm down on Will about him being an African-American man, stand up for his wife. That is so sexy. And I'm not saying sexy to get him into trouble. That's, that's a real man. He got cojones. That dick is long. When, um, excuse my language, but that dick, the way he act, make me know that dick is long. And if it ain't long, it's long on the inside. He's a real cowboy, a real soldier. And he's going through so much stuff in the public. You can say whatever with the personal stuff, but you're not going to keep attacking him and you're not going to attack Jada. Not on that. And you really shouldn't attack Jada at all. Instead of trying to jump on a bandwagon and beat up on people when they're talking about things that have affected them emotionally, how about you just listen, shut the fuck up, and then take what you need to take from it and move the fuck on and don't have an opinion about it but what will smith did that was courageous and it was courageous because anything could have went left chris rock could have had his people hurt will and i don't that's why I, that's the part where i don't agree with the interaction but you're not going to sit up here and demonize will smith for standing up for his wife that's so sexy to me and you have those type of relationships with a man sent up for his wife. That's why you have people that stay married through difficulty. Because no matter what the difficulty is, the man and the woman stay in love with each other because they know they got each other's backs. They see each other as human beings. They see each other as flawed. But they know that because they're each other's flawed, they love themselves and they can love each other. It's called teamwork. And no, I'm not saying stay on, stay married to people who are abusive towards you. No, get out of that shit. But if you got a person that's willing to go through mess with you and then defend your honor, you praise him. And not in a, in a proud, arrogant, Luciferian, Satan type of way. You thank God for him. Because what he did was honor his wife and honor his family. And y'all are not gonna sit up here and try to make Will Smith some violent person when all the rest of you, excuse me, all the rest of you motherfuckers, I don't wanna say motherfuckers, all the rest of you simps, they call y'all simps, I think that's what they call y'all, are some of the most violent, overdramatic, hurtful, villainous type of creatures out there. Y'all are racist as fuck. Y'all terrorize people. And I'm not gonna sit up here and put everybody in a group together. When it comes to being black, black is just a, a title. It's not the sub, it's not the whole community. Everything is divided up. So what other people have done is newer generations of other communities will have nothing to do with African American people. And they're not gonna wear our name and appreciate appropriate our names and our struggles just because they may look like us. And everybody else wants to try to emulate and look like black people. Because if white daddy defends his wife and Uncle Buck defend their wife, why can't Will Smith defend his wife? That is so sexy what he did. And I saw Jada's look on him, and that's that's a woman that loved her man. She may maybe say whatever, I don't know, and I can't get into that. But at that moment, what I saw with them, they love each other. And he was right for sticking up for his wife's feeling. They were talking about he was laughing. No, it was awkward. He was trying to laugh for her so she wouldn't feel like she was being laughed at. So he was still defending her in that moment. But once he saw that that's not working, he did what a man does. He pays attention to his wife. He pays attention to her, her moods. And he pays attention to her temperament. A real king pays attention to his queen. And he saw that on the inside and outside, she really was hurt. And who knows what she was crying about on the inside. Now I find out she has uh, alopecia. 
So yes, there is a fine line in joking. Jokes are not for everybody. Stop joking about people. They're not your friends. These are not your family. And even if they are your family, you joking about people like that, you are an evil person. Stop talking about people you don't know. Chris Rock is not uh, Jada and Will Smith's um, children's uh, godfather. He's not related to them. They're not friends from what, we, from what we know. And if he was a true friend, he still wouldn't talk about Jada like that. So really, Chris Rock is a stranger with his opinion coming at a woman of, um, that he don't know personally. And they're not friends and talking, mac, mac, talking smack about her. But let that have been in public, any other random event out, out somewhere, some random stranger walking up to a man's wife and coming at her like that. And the husband's right there. The husband would have did the same damn thing to that stranger. Y'all are not going to tear down these men and tell them they can't defend themselves or their wives for being talked badly about by random strangers who got more shit hot hidden in their own closets than they try to sit here and come at the Smiths about. And whatever sins that the Smiths got going on, God is going to judge them for what they do. But the rest of y'all need to back the fuck up, back the fuck up off of them. If it was any other person who had that same standard and that same um, type of demeanor as the Smith, I would say the same thing. Stop disrespecting people's families. Stop disrespecting these children, you fucking pedophiles. Stop disrespect disrespecting people's husbands. Stop sleeping with other people's husbands. And stop sleeping with other people's wives. That's y'all problem. Don't nobody know how to be exclusive to themselves. Don't nobody respect their own space. So they're always trying to get in other people's space. Stay in your lane. And if Mr. Chris Rock is nothing against him, because like I said, I like certain parts of him, but I don't know him personally. He can be somebody totally different too. But if he had stayed in his own lane, he could have he could have talked about so many other things. Why Jada? Again, from what I heard, 2016, he had the same joke about her. Leave that, leave that woman alone. She's not your wife. She's not your she's not related to you in any type of way. And what y'all are not gonna do is sit up here and try to take a moment of Will Smith just being, he's tired. African-American women are tired of being beat up on. African-American men are tired of being beat up on. By others, the same ones that beat up on them want to sit up here and act like they are holy, but then the person that beat up on them and then he snaps back at them, they want to act like they're holy and try to demonize him. Y'all are not going to do that. And these same ones y'all trying to cape for all of a sudden because of what's going on in the world, Y'all don't look at their y'all don't look at their records and see what type of dangerous people there are. It's so easy to slip from being the oppressor to act like you are like you are oppressed. And we're not gonna allow that to happen. Just like that Leah girl. It ain't got nothing to do with being trans. That Leah girl that's white and trying to come in trying to dictate womanhood, it ain't going to happen. And it's a non-trans issue. It's a misogynistic, homosexual misogynistic issue. Because homosexual misogynistic people do not respect womanhood. And they don't respect nobody. It's all about them. And their maleness, quote unquote, or their illusion of being male. So leave them alone. If it's not about the real issues, don't come at Will Smith about smacking a man for talking smack about his wife. 